ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, today we have yet another casualty of the ice. Uh, I've got pictures of it that they sent me prior to going down. We contacted the sheriff's department and the highway patrol to make sure we were okay to go. Uh, since the roads are icy, if they're off the roadway and the driver's uninjured, a lot of times they have been roping them off and going to wait until the road's clear. Uh, but we have to go ahead and go ahead with this one. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm repeating myself again. Uh, anyway, the driver was uninjured, but it has 44,000 pounds. It was in the middle of an S curve and uh, went not quite straight off, but at an angle. I don't know how he kept from rolling it. Looking at the pictures, it went like this off. So I'm not, so not quite sure. Fun, right? But we're going to have to be cautious because, as you can see, even here, the roads are not the best. No. Anyway, here we go. This morning was not. I honestly think yesterday going home was worse than this morning. Really? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just where I, where I went because I didn't say going up. I took the interstate to, to Ralph K. Well, Tom said he took 25 and he made a big mistake. Did he? Okay, yeah. well, I'm glad I didn't do that. Said he won't. He did not come to work that way this morning. <laughs> My logic was if I did go off the road, it's not as deep. Right. I, I stayed in the stuff. camper. Well, yeah. So I didn't didn't mess with going home. You saved yourself the hassle of trying. Yep. All right. Engine brake off. Spun a little bit, even though it's front wheel, probably the front wheel drive. Yeah. I saw it go like this, that's just a little bit. Yeah. Good thing about this truck in the wintertime, with the I raise that lift axle, it puts more weight on the drives. Yeah, she's a heavy girl.
is they've got the big wide spades and then they've got kind of a hook on them. Have you noticed the, the hook on it? Okay. If you haven't, uh, take a look when we get down here. Those, uh, those hooks, uh, they're not real sharp, but they're designed to where if you're out in a field or off in gravel or soft mud or something, uh, you can put like a railroad tie across from one side to the other. Uh -huh. And it can be a lot wider than the truck even. Huh. And it will grab a hold of that railroad tie or like a, a telephone pole or yeah. even a tree. You know, if you get a tree, uh, you can push, push that down, down and it, it plants you in place. You know, once it starts digging in, that creates a whole lot of resistance. Uh, gives you a much better uh, chance of uh, keeping your truck still. See, that's going to be our biggest problem here working on the pavement is overcoming the resistance he's got yeah. versus us sitting on this slick pavement. Because I guess the longer he sits there, the more chance he's going to freeze in too. Right? Or is it? Uh, be... Yeah, it didn't look like he was dug in too deep. So that's good. I'm still going to have to find that burn. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, it's about that's, like this right here. Oh, that'll be Because he, he took a picture and he said, from here, eye level with the road. So it's about as deep as that was right yeah, there. It's going to drag the landing gear and all yeah. that stuff. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be, we'll probably have to slingshot it out mm -hmm. if we've got room. Yeah. You know what that is? Yeah, you remember what that one is? And one and then one on each side and, yep, and lift and pull at the same time if we've got room to do it. Room being the biggest issue on a narrow road like this. Yeah. like he went directly across from the S. If he went directly across, we could have that straight stretch, you know, to work with. But it didn't look like he did. It looked like he made it part of the way around the curve before yeah. he went on. So it'll be nice and right in the middle of a turn. In between the two S curves yeah. instead of Go down and take a look, man. How are you? Good, how about you? I don't know. The way this looks, I'm not thinking very good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see how he kept it upright. Uh, he said he had his wheels cut to the left, and as soon as he went off in the into the ditch, he just he knew he was gonna flip it. So he said he turned the wheels straight. He's very flipped. He's you you betcha, you betcha he is.
Yeah, maybe we should have grabbed our cleats. <laughs> Mine are in the truck. I've got cleats. My goodness. Boy, that's going to be a pain in the butt. And no room to work. And this road is just a solid sheet. This is not, not cool. We've got no way to get out there and get him past that other pole. You know, that's what, you know, if we could get him drug back down this way to where it was not as sharp of a uh, incline would be ideal, but yeah, he's he left right here. That's what saved him right there. He hit that and it threw it back this way a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot more ice down here. He's got 44,000 on. Howdy, howdy. Okay, so we've come up with Plan A, right now, David's down checking the fuel level. The truck is still running, so that will provide us air. It's up on top of the road, or up on top of the dirt, so it's not dug in. Uh, the sheriff has spoken with the property owner over here. They have graciously uh, given us authorization to pull the Western Star or whatever we need to out through their yard. And what we're planning on doing is pulling the unit backwards and start bringing the nose of the truck this way and get it turned and facing this way and just nice and easy ease it out across the top of the ground the ground is frozen enough now to where it shouldn't dig in and we can should be able to hopefully just roll it right across the top of the ground out here where it's more level uh, if we sit up here where the ground this road is just a solid sheet of ice uh, and it's got a steep drop off. The only thing that kept him upright was momentum there. Trying to slow tug it out of there. We're gonna fight it and fight it and fight it. So we're gonna try to take the path of least resistance. At least that's our first plan. Initiate plan A. Here comes Ray. I need to get out and start helping guide him through. You're not sinking. No, it looks like you're going a bit. Yep. Keep on coming. Come over this way to stay away from that meter head. There you go. We've got an eighth of a tank and no leaks. Okay. Doing good, doing good. Well, if this ground wasn't frozen, we'd never do it this way. Hey, Ray, if it's frozen solid enough, can you get out partially in front of him? A little bit further that way, maybe? Try it and see. Let's, like I said, the worst we have to do is pull you forward. I've got the big truck out on the road. We can always pull you out. He's fine. He's fine. Trust me. I've done this a time or three. Woo! Slick, slick, slick. You're good.
Yeah. He's going to have to get close enough to where we can get a line in on it, though. You're starting to sink over here, Ray. You're, you're sinking. You better stop. Better or pull forward. There you go. Yep, that's as far as we're going to get. Whew. Thank you, Sheriff. No, I appreciate it. I mean, this is gonna be a lot this is gonna be a lot quicker and easier yeah like, uh, like i was telling him path of least resistance yep you got a couple soft spots as you know yeah but as long as it's rolling and we're not having to drag it through it yeah get all the track good yep but at the initial turn you know the closer to the road we get the more solid it'll be out here in the middle of the field it hadn't froze over yet not completely yeah, I'm say, I think it'll be pretty even. hey david yeah help him get set up and uh i'll get turned around i'll get turned around and i'll get a line on the trailer from up on the road we'll start pulling it backwards a little Woo, here we go
actually it's starting to melt a little bit right where we're at. I don't know if that's because the salt truck that came through earlier probably is. Either way, I'm glad. Like I said, I'm gonna run a line down to the trailer and help to start bringing it backwards. You coming up, Dave? Okay. Everything's cold. Working slow. No. Hopefully we're not here long enough to need cones. That's all right. I got it. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I'll get the cleat on the other side here. I think just one will do it, don't you? I'll pull with one. You pull with one. There we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold on, we got. Yeah, he's just going to get your part down. Let me get this pulled back. I'm going to shoot this one out. All right, now I gotta do the same thing on the front. The, oh, you got a flat plate. Well, no, it's got the uh, ice. Here, I'll get it, I'll get it. You got enough on your plate. It's gonna, it's gonna take all of us before we're done here. Ooh, that one really don't sit down. Sit in, Not real well, but it'll sit down enough. It'll be all right. I, however, it doesn't smash our uh, handles.
I think it's gonna have to go that way. Ready, coming down. It may just catch it, part of it, or we can put a block under it. Nope, look, hey, that's perfect right there, Raymond. Good, that, that works right there. That works. Now we got her. Now we got her. All right. Doesn't matter. Come on, baby. Come on. Slick. Whoa, man down. Tight on this low side here. Well, it don't matter. It really don't. Just get one under it. Hey, David. Hey, David, I guess you're gonna have to act as driver, my friend. He's up there talking to the deputy. Hop up in the truck and release the brakes, please. And then start steering it so the front end of the truck comes this way. You wanna basically, you wanna jackknife it. I'll come over here by you. You're on a single line and I'm on two to one, so I'll be slower than you are. Yeah. That might be over this way too much. I don't think so. I think we'll be alright. Up, oh, hold, hold, hold. Hello? Yes. Yeah. I'm out working a wreck right at the moment. What's up? Uh, probably. Let me, uh, I, I should have. Yeah, let me, uh, can I call you back when we get this out? Okay, thank you. Appreciate it, bye-bye. Help me remember to call them back. Okay. Oh, man hook got turned around i ain't gonna back up now we're far enough away from it okay i'm going let me know if i slide off sheriff hold up let me put it on uh high speed because you're you're out you're out pulling me we want to be in sync okay now we're moving together Good. 
I'm doing good. Do what? Nope. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to. Yeah. You're actually straightening the truck out instead of allowing it to turn. So I think you're gonna you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to redirect and hook onto the front. If I can get him back far enough, that dead gum trailer's not rolling. Yeah, that's why I'm lifting. Yeah, it's coming up there. Boy, I love that truck. I can't go much more, Raymond, without getting it off in the ditch. Can you get to it without putting too much of a side pull on it? You don't want to trust those tow hooks with too much of a side pull on it. Yeah. Well, you can grab a tire right here. Pull the front tire with the strength. Yeah, yeah. We'll grab, I'll grab one of my rim slings. some rearranging here come on baby let me grab a hold of it is that a thick one no here's the thick one back up here for a minute. Oh yeah, it could be laid over out there in the middle of that field. <sighs> okay, I've let off on the back, so it should pivot around. I'm gonna keep tied to it for just a minute. If I have to grab a hold and help you bring the front around, I still can.
I think you can grab a hold of the front now and just start rolling. Freightliner, same one you had yesterday, David. I'm just gonna leave this chain on here for now. In case I'm gonna leave this chain down here for now. That way in case we need it up there, I can help you bring it around. Cause we may I may have to grab a hold of the nose or something before we're done. Okay, you got one or two? He said you get one. Okay. Both of them? Go ahead. I'd rather spread it out on two like we did yesterday, you know. Yeah, I'll get it. Go ahead. No. Hold on, Raymond. This helps spread it out between both of them. There we go, just like that. And then, yeah, that'll work. You put that, uh, master link if we'd put that master link in there it'd slide with it but we're good we're good let's get this thing out of here if we can hopefully you've got enough to start bringing him out of there i'm disconnected from you for right now hopefully it'll walk up right right behind you Oh, you're good, man. This ice, this ice is miserable. Oh yeah. That is a pulling truck now. Especially off on the dirt like this. Those spades, that's what I was telling David on the way down here. This is what this truck's designed for, those spades. You're good, I got you. You're good. We got it in gear, make it climb up on top of it, maybe. You're coming up on it. it. Yep, it's starting to come up. We're looking good. Looking real good. I'm gonna break mine down and start moving forward. You got this for now. I'm gonna set mine down and open lane if you need to, Sheriff. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Working good, Sheriff. 
Yeah, me too. We need something good right now. After the last few days that we've had, whoo! got a bite to it. Slick, slick, slick. Yes, sir. Right up there. Just in there anywhere, Sheriff. I'll get it later. I may need it again here in a minute. Whoa, Raymond, whoa! Don't get too greedy with it. <laughs> I'll get it, Sheriff. It goes on the other side. Or we can just, here, we can just drop it in the, on top of this other one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guardian angels were hovering on each side of it, keeping it. They, they were keeping it, keeping it upright, weren't they, Sheriff? When I see it. Uh, oh, the steering wheel real hard to the right. I think that's the only thing that kept it. Yeah, that's probably what like threw you out in the field. Yeah. Well, it kept the, uh, the it hit it hit that little embankment too, which helped kept pitch it back this yeah. way. Yeah. I just that's what that's what took that cab like this and broke that shock loose. Would be my guess. Yeah, I just turned it real hard to the right. And it's like hanging on. Beautiful job, guys. Beautiful. Well enough to get over this way so he can get that truck. Yeah, this exactly. Yep. Bit, yep. Tire. Yep. Uh, do you need to grab the parts that are over there that kind of piled up? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. I guess I'd go ahead and do that while he's. Yeah. Just watch it. Go ahead and before he gets started.
got the transmission and drive and just idling along. putting too much throttle on it basically just want to let it idle along so we don't tear up the property any more than it's going to just rolling across it the back end starting to go down Fell through. Put it. Or uh, put it in one of the toolboxes, doesn't matter. come up getting close to the underreach. There we go. Sometimes you just need a different perspective. See things from a different angle. Beautiful piece of property, nice pond over there.
roll. Not that it's gonna roll anywhere, but. Oh yeah. Thankfully, it's just walking right across this. Yeah, it's not running that up at all. Eh? That's why he said he said, boy, he's sitting on top of the ground now. Okay, that's pretty frozen. That's, 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 what, that's what we want. Yeah. That's what's helping us right now, big time. I think you're gonna have to probably get, that's if you can get, get your, what do you think? I was just gonna try to go straight up as I can right here before I have to start turning over that way. Okay. That's about it. Yep. Well, if we get over that way, it's definitely going to start It's going to start dragging it, yep. Okay. And then back up. Well, Well, we can always just take the line loose. We can take the line loose and rehook. yeah. Yeah. You on free spool? Yeah. Okay. up on top now that's good that's goodness uh he said somebody's got a drop here and then three more drops after that yeah i talked to him we're gonna have to get our bill squared away and stuff but yeah i didn't know if he was gonna have rain and tow to all those spots or... well i'm not sure uh let's get him out of here one problem yeah, at yeah, a time sure. one step at a time Okay, he's just stopping. Right now he's gonna stop yeah. there because we'll change the angle if we don't. Yeah, yeah. You need to go through that way. Between you wanna get as far that way and you wanna wanna stay up. right up behind him before you turn. Because there ain't a lot of room between that no. mailbox and yeah. all right. You want go, go ahead. Okay. Right. You're your truck driver in this one, man. Wow, this is working much better than I thought. I'm glad. You want me to send him, Sheriff? Which one you want? We clear after that? Thank you! How's the owner feeling? That was the son-in-law of the owner, and he went up there. I said, that's the lady that owns this place. And okay. I said, you might want to go up and talk to her. Okay. I said, that's a wheat field. So I said, he asked me if you want to get a ticket. I said, I'm not writing you on it. I said, but I will tell you, I promise you better take care of that. Yeah, oh yeah. Come back and bite you. Well, that and the ruts in the yard, you know, I. that's only right. I mean. That's part of it. it this could have been a. Could have been a major malfunction. Could have been well, the uh, driver, either the driver or the, maybe their dispatch, I don't remember which, told me to please, please, please be as cautious as we could with the load because it was over $200,000 for the load. Yeah, you got another 100000 rig and trailer, at least. Uh, the truck's over hundred. Yeah, I was on Yeah, the truck's over hundred. I don't know exactly how much those new Cascadias cost, but I know they're over hundred. $200,000 worth of seed. I'm sure glad it came out this way. Yeah. Well, coming out this way. Made the fire lines and everything else. 
especially with the roads the way they well, use that. It, you have. It's going to go right there. We're going to have to have you and uh, Highland, Highland move. I don't know if it will. It's got uh, straight treads on it, so I don't think it will. We can try it, but I don't think it will, Sheriff. I'm going to go ahead and pull mine up a little closer. So we don't have the scene spread out quite so much. Oh, that is worked out wonderfully, wonderfully, wonderfully. Uh, truck is nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh. Hey Dave, I can finish him from out here if we need to. I got more weight out here. He's got better uh, feet to dig in, but I got more weight out here. Oh yeah, love jerky. Hang on. Got it. Hold on just a second. Hey Raymond, I've got a lot more weight and I can pull him better out here on the flat if you don't want to tear up their driveway anymore. Yeah, I don't we can switch. We can switch out, and I can pull him from here. No way! I can see how the best way to go up the driveway is to pull him. Yep. You can do better. Yeah. You just go on, move forward, and I'll come in here. I think that'll prevent any further uh, property damage. Do I want to know? No, just eat it. Deer. I like deer. You just call. Thank you, sir. No. Oh, feel a little cheap. <laughs> Thank you. My lunch. We can probably single it out. Hmm. Don't matter to me. Yeah, it's already hooked up. 
Hold on. <laughs> Sheriff gave me a bite of jerky, that's my lunch. Right. So I was concentrating on chewing, man. Right. I'm glad we re these the other day. Oh yeah, me too. Well, these two trucks working together is beautiful, ain't it? Oh, I love that. Except for almost getting my fingers pinched. Yeah. We gonna have enough cable? Hold up. Yes, sir. I don't want to unspool it. Ugh. You got enough. Go ahead. Do it. You okay with this I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw that plate back down. No, just one. Oh, the other one's easier to get to, ain't it? Yeah, I'll have to go Working on the roads, making this road a lot better. Very grateful for that. Now the guys with the roads departments, highway departments are having a hard, oh, oh, hard time as well. <sighs> I love those things. Yes, sir. That way you're not pulling against the rotating turret. <sighs> ah. Tired to keep hitting the wrong switches. Wonder if I ought to. I think I need to redirect this down low, don't I, Ray? This needs to come down here, otherwise, it's going to try to lift that front end and he's not going to steer. Watch out. I'll just take it right down here. Thanks, Sheriff. That's 30 mile an hour wind. Yeah. <sighs>
Dave! Right there! You're good. Goodness. It just... Hold on. For some reason it just... Uh... No, the control kicked out. Not sure why. I'll just leave her hooked in. Or run single line. <laughs> I think he's gonna need one more tug. I don't know if it's gonna drive out of there or not. Pull, pull forward just a hair and see, David. I don't want it digging in in the man's, in their yard though. Fire in. Fire if it starts spinning, stop. Nope, nope, nope. It's a. Yeah, just single line it. We'll be good. Yeah, hook that down on one of my lower... Uh, Green in this way. Oh, you got? Yeah, okay, I got it. Alright. Good. Oh, 
Fingers, fingers, yeah. fingers. We got mine flying. Okay. Make sure I'm on free spool. Okay, good. Okay. Here, Sheriff, I'll just throw it in. Yeah, I'll just throw it in here. We're good. I'll have to straighten all this back up when we get back up to the shop anyway. Let me get her around. Yeah. No, sir, I think we're good. I think we're good. If we can just get his drives up on this hard pavement, we'll be good. This is still slick. Yeah. But if we can get him up on this asphalt, he ought to be able to pull up on his own. I'm gonna have to start shedding layers here in a minute. That ought to get him. Well, if we were going to do that, I'd just shut the whole thing down, and I'd pull it across. Yeah, Doesn't matter if you want. No. That would be that would be the best for me to be over there. But I just say that. Well, you do what you want to do. If we can keep that lane open, I'd rather just keep the lane open. Okay. I think he'll come right up there and be able to move on his own. Okay, Dave. Put it in drive. I've got her on high speed right now. Turn to your right a little bit, Dave. Keep going right, keep going right. Go ahead, if you're coming, go on, bring it. There you go, whoa! Can you hand this up to me, Dave? Yes, sir, go ahead. I've got my big chain still on the back of the trailer, too. Did you? Oh, good deal. You're on top of that. Working 
we, I guess, I guess Kelly or the uh, gas station's about the only place big enough for all of us to get off at this point, ain't it? That's Kelly. But they were still working on their lot. It was solid sheet of ice when we came by. Thank you. I get, we'll just go up to the truck stop by the interstate. Okay. That's the biggest, safest place. It's cleared off. Okay. All right. If anything feels off, uh -huh. stop. Okay. And we'll we'll grab a hold of it and tow it. Okay. Don't drive it if you don't feel safe with it. Thanks, Sheriff. Sure. See you on that. Yeah, yeah, I, I pointed that out earlier. I told him he needs to be really, really cautious. If he doesn't feel good with it, yeah. we'll hook it and tow it. Yeah, yeah one part on the other side is pretty, yeah, pretty rough, but that's a problem right there. Right? Yeah, from the tire hitting. Yeah. It just, we'll just go nice and slow at okay. first until you get a feel for it. Okay. I guess and, that yes, sir. Yep. Sheriff took care of all that. We may want to finish taking that off. You want to let us just cut the rest of that little piece off? Yeah, sure. So that's not hanging? I'll hold it. You got a knife, I don't have a Do I have a knife? <laughs> may not be very sharp, but I got one. Be cutting that heavy plastic, it is. <laughs> That's a high dollar knife. It's a Kershaw. I love Kershaw. I got a couple of them. All right. Like I said, if you feel anything off, don't be afraid to stop. Okay. Actually, you want me to go ahead of you? I'll pull around or I'll pull up a little bit and let you come around me and then you just follow him. Okay. That way he's in front and I'm behind. Okay. But I'll give you room to get around me. Okay. Out of the field. Wow, that worked out a whole lot better than I thought. Thanks, Sheriff! That's a good man right there. Sheriff? The sheriff? Oh. Yeah, I, like I don't care what time of day, what the weather conditions are, he's always out helping. Yeah. If his guys are out, he's out. He ain't afraid to work. That's sure. Nope, he's not. But I mean, I feel like I guess you're gonna. He leads by example. Yeah. That, that's yeah. you know he he leads by example, which is, in my opinion, best way to go. I try. I sometimes fall short, but I try. We all fall short every now and then. I was gonna say. All right, I'm gonna let this guy come around me. That's what we talked about. I'll let him come around and. If it don't feel a little odd to him somewhere, then that. That's yeah. great. Oh, I, I can't imagine I him can't. taking that kind of ride and it yeah. not. Yeah. But where's Raymond going? He's, he didn't get the part of them. That's all right. We'll God get, knows we'll where we're going, at least. <laughs> the sheriff followed suit. Yeah, uh, sheriff knows the back roads. He's going to cut around, I think. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Anyway. All right. We're gonna follow and get a get off of here. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.